After winning the 2A state title in basketball with West Texas High, Jalen Conyers, he surprised a lot of people when he moved to Groover for the upcoming school year. The six foot six star shooting guard for the basketball team was also the quarterback at WT High. Now he's going to be a wide receiver. And based on his moves there, we think that maybe he lacks the chain so far. He seems happy. Now, before Conyers got to the Greyhounds, they already had a ton of talent, including another wide receiver who was already a third team all state selection in Creed Spivey. When you add that with an all district quarterback in Keegan Kelp, you have yourself a really talented offense, one that can run the football as well. Something that makes head coach Terry Felderhoff and his players amped to start the season. I got teased by. An, uh, another coach in the area about hey you know there's only one football on the field you know so but uh, no it's it's actually a you know we're very multiple we're spread but we we still believe in running the ball you know last year we had 2,000 yard receivers 2,000 yard rushers and that was a blessing and we you know I'll be honest if we can do the same this year that'd be great nobody can double team us you know because if they double team me obviously he's going to be open and it just really helps me out really helps him out really helps the quarterback out and uh, it's going to be really nice it makes I mean you got a lot of options out there. Just throw it up to either one of them, they'll go get it. This team's really good. Creed, having Creed on one side and then a quarterback like Keegan throwing it, it's going to be really hard to stop. Staying in that tough District 3 2 way where every team in this district has won a district title in the past five years. We go to the Vega Longhorns, who have plenty of returning talent to this team as they have seven listed returning starters on both sides of the ball. This district features a wide variety of styles, but teams can expect the Longhorns to be physical and will be looking to control the clock through the running game, which will be started up front with Cody Mays and Darian Lopez, but they will still be able to throw the ball around when they need to with returning quarterback Carson Kirkland, and they're looking forward to the challenge of, again, a very tough district. By far the toughest district I've ever been a part of. Um, you know, every year you know it's going to be tough when you get to district and you have to bring a different level of intensity and step up your game, but this year it's, it's really, really going to have to we have to take it to a new level, and uh, we're going to bring it on every Friday night. Uh, Stratford dropping down to a uh, small school, and uh, Claren and Gruber made uh, long runs last year, and uh, they didn't lose a whole lot. So they'll be pretty good this year, but um, I think we're ready for the test.